Hey, what's up guys? On today's video, we're actually going to be doing a mod to fix my current KDSS system on my 2021 Off-Road Premium. Now, the KDSS system is a really nice system to have, but if you're doing any type of lift onto your vehicle, what it does is it actually moves the sway bar into a rear angle, and that puts a lot of stress into your joints, and it's going to wear down your uh, bushings a lot quicker. So you definitely want to look into this if, this if your car is something that you want to keep long term and you want to protect your suspension. It's an inexpensive mod that's going to fix this problem. You'll notice this a lot when you're actually putting in your suspension. Um, after you're done installing it, it's at a weird angle. The bolts don't really line up. Um, it's going to be at a very bad angle, so you definitely want to get this installed. It makes things line up a lot easier, puts less stress on your vehicle, and your suspension is going to last a lot longer. So take a look at this link below. I'm going to drop it in our description. I want to thank Mark for helping me with this install. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, make sure you guys do so. So let's go ahead and dive into the install. So I'm going to show you a quick preview of what the uh, adapter does to the KDSS system right there. It fixes the angle, angle there so it's not going to wear out the bushings as much. I'm going to show you uh, the, my car, what we're working on. This is the driver's side. And these are the collar pieces that we got that goes to replace that. We're gonna go ahead and do this first. Now it uses a uh, 10 millimeter Allen key. We're gonna go ahead and apply some uh, thread lock to this so that it stays secure. Now the passenger side, there's a P. Just gonna loosen those four bolts. Now at this point of the install, we're going to go ahead and install the billet clamps. Uh, we're going to go ahead and remove the rubber uh, clamp that they have glued on currently. Uh, it's a really cheap rubber piece and uh, it's definitely going to wear out over time. So we're going to replace that. Let's cut the metal, right? Yeah. All right. Now I do want to give Toyota credit. The glue was a pain to remove. Um, but when we did Mark's vehicle, his is about five years old and his just broke right off. So the rubber piece just over time worn off really bad. Uh, mine was, was only about 17,000 miles, so it was still fresh. But we did remove everything. We used the X-Acto knife to clean off the edges as well. Now we'll do the same to the other side. Now we're going to go ahead and remove the curved hooks on these clamps. Uh, we're gonna we're no longer going to need them after installing the kdss adapter Now we're gonna go ahead and spray the grind it off part so that it doesn't rust. Make sure you guys do that. Now 
now as you guys can see it's lining up a lot better Now it went in pretty easily. Uh, make sure to, not to over tighten. Just go ahead and keep it a little bit loose and we'll we'll work on the other side before we come back and retighten this. Now off to the passenger side. Now time to install the KDSS front sway bar billet clamps. Now what we're going to do is install the screw into the sway bar. We're going to go ahead and do a pilot hole and then uh, eventually screw it down. So what this billet clamp does is it locks the sway bar in place, it keeps it centered, and also protects the uh, sway bar from hitting the shock guard. Now with the provided allen key, go ahead and tighten up the clamp. there you go look at that love the way it looks love what it does matches the king as well make sure you guys check up all the bolts afterwards make sure you guys mark the bolts to make sure that nothing moves make sure to also get an alignment done you're going to need an alignment after you get this fit hey what's up guys i got my kdss system fixed now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys exactly what we did yesterday. Let's go ahead and take a look. All right, let's take a look at what we did yesterday. So what we went ahead and did is we added the adapter. It corrected the sway bar angle and fixed the KDSS. It's a lot less stress on the bushings now. As you see, it's a super heavy duty uh, metal piece. 
And what I also went ahead and did is at the same time uh, with the order from Dr. KDSS, I went ahead and did the front sway bar billet clamps. This replaced the rubberized um, OEM one. Uh, those, uh, those are just pretty much glued on. They're not gonna last a long time. Um, what this does, it actually locks in the front sway bars um, so that it's dead center. It's gonna stay centered. Uh, you actually have to pre-drill a hole there, but it locks in the sway bar and you're gonna get better control. Some people also add one onto the other side. As you can see, it's still there, that little um, aluminum clamp. But this is the more important one to do, so that's the one we went ahead and stuck with. Let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, passenger. This is a better view because I have it. Uh, I don't have it angled. So that's the uh, Dr. KDSS adapter. Um, I could have grinded this piece off to make it more aesthetically pleasing, but we just left it. Uh, we did have to grind this off because it no longer needs the hook. But it's nice. It was a lot easier to put the uh, suspension back together once this was corrected. I can't really uh, tell if there was a difference in the drive because uh, what I went ahead and did is I also changed out my springs to the 700s. So I do feel a difference uh, in the drive now. And I don't know if it's because of the KDSS fix or more likely the uh, 700 pound uh, coilovers that we did. So yeah, guys, um, you know, make sure you guys take a look at this item. I highly, highly recommend it. Dr. KDSS says this is one of the more, most important mods you can do on your vehicle. I'll catch you guys on the next one.